Hey, okay, let's talk about the common cold, also known as coryza. Um, there's several things that can cause it. Um, the most common ones are just an acute viral um, infection. Sometimes it can be caused by um, allergies to something. Um, sometimes it's a chronic condition. Um, but what we're really looking at is just those basic signs or symptoms and things that can trigger it, how to avoid those things, and then how to treat it. So what happens is you get an inflammation of your nasal, nasal membrane um, within those mucous membranes. Um, the most common cause of the common cold or coryza is rhinovirus, and there are over 100 strains of rhinovirus. So just because um, you have rhinovirus doesn't mean you have the exact same thing as somebody else who has a common cold. Um, it's spread very rapidly um, through inhalation and contact, so you just want to make sure that you're telling people to stay away from anyone who has any of these symptoms or um, has a known infection with rhinovirus. Um, allergic rhinovirus um, or allergic rhinitis is just a hypersensitive reaction to um, really a lot of <laughs> different things. Um, pollen is one of the most common ones, animal dander, some foods, um, but we just treat those as they come up um, and whatever causes it, just try to avoid those triggers. Um, it's not usually a serious condition, but it can lead to pneumonia if you don't um, take care of yourself or um, get it treated if you're able. Uh, especially in people who are elderly or immunosuppressed, like people who are on chemotherapy or who have um, you know, an immunosuppression from maybe lupus or something other also. Um, and people who are debilitated. And the reason why that's important is because if you're debilitated and you're just lying in bed and you're not able to get up and move around um, and move that air through your lungs and through those alveoli and everything, then sometimes that infection can really settle there and that's when you end up developing pneumonia. Um, the signs and symptoms, I mean, y'all know these. It's just a runny nose, a sore throat, um, watery eyes, a cough, um, sometimes a low-grade fever. You don't always have to run a fever, but um, a lot of times it's, it's like in a 99, maybe a low 100. Um, but anytime it's prolonged um, temperatures or if you see a spike in the temperature, a lot of times that's going to signal to us that it's a bacterial infection and not a virus after all. And so if you see that temperature spike or um, stay elevated for a very long period of time, that's when you probably want to go in to see the doctor and, um, and get tested to see if it's a bacterial infection or a virus. Um, you're also probably going to see some aching muscles and probably a headache as well. The signs and symptoms usually last about five to ten days, um, which feels so long when you're just not able to breathe, you're hacking up stuff and have that headache and that low grade temp and everything. So, um, you know, just give it time. Um, if it's due to an allergic reaction, a lot of times the signs and symptoms will only last as long as you're exposed to the allergen. So if you get the person who's allergic to dogs away from the dog, a lot of times the symptoms improve. If it's caused by that virus, you just kind of have to wait it out. And it's frustrating. You want to take something, but there's really nothing you can take. Um, to treat it, though, all you do is just treat the symptoms. Okay, so you're going to give some antipyretics um, if they are experiencing that low-grade temperature um, just to try to, you know, knock it down. Give them some decongestants. Um, pseudoephedrine is the most common one, but there's a lot out there. Um, and really any of them, any of them work. Um, but I know that they're controlling um, Sudafed and who can purchase it and everything now um, over the counter. So just um, pay attention and see what works best for you. Um, Antitussives um, like Robitussin is one of the most common ones over the counter. Um, really helps just with the cough and everything. But you can get something a little bit stronger if you feel like the cough is becoming debilitating or affecting your work. Um, and so if, if you need something, you can call a doctor for a stronger antitussive if you need to. Um, a saline gargle and a nose spray, these are some very easy, um, you know, therapeutic things that you can do. The saline gargle really helps to um, break up whatever is lodged in the back of the throat and hopefully decrease the cough. And then that nose spray, um, it gets up there and just thins out the secretions and so your nose isn't running and draining and stuff as much as it would be otherwise. But the only thing with nasal sprays is that you can't use them for more than three days at a time because your nose can actually get addicted to it. And I know that sounds strange, but basically it just keeps you from um, being able to um, thin out your own secretions on your own and um, your nose will continually drip without the aid of nose spray if you use it for more than three days. Um, if your cough is persistent, um, 
and typically with a cold it will be, you want to increase your fluids as much as possible because what that's going to do is thin out those secretions so that it's not as aggravating in your throat and you're not going to feel the need to clear them. So the fluid is, is one of the best things you can do. And I know you've probably heard people say, oh, you've got a cold, go home, get some rest, drink a lot of fluid. And that's actually very, very good advice because it really does thin out the secretions and allow your body to flush out the um, virus a lot quicker. Um, excuse me. <coughs> Treatment for allergic rhinitis, um, and that's whenever you hear a rhinitis, it's inflammation of the nose. Basically, it's a runny nose, okay? So treatment for that, you just wanna um, give them some Benadryl or some other kind of anti, um, why am I blanking on this? I always blank on words, don't I? Um, but basically an anti-allergen, so a Benadryl, a Claritin, Allegra, Zyrtec, all of those things, antihistamines, there we go. Um, all of those things are gonna help to you know, block out your body's effects of um, whatever allergen it was, whether it was the pollen or the pet dander or dust is another common one. Um, it just kind of gets your body used to it and, and you end up um, not having those side effects. Um, you want to teach your patients um, how to you know, increase their fluids and why. Um, it really is helpful for people to know why because it makes them want to do it even more. They want to rest. Um, again, this is good advice, right? This is common advice, but it's very good advice. Use a vaporizer because that's fluid that you breathe in um, and that helps you thin out your secretions as well. Blow your nose with your mouth open. If you have your mouth closed when you blow your nose, that increases the pressure that um, is put on your brain and when we get to neuro, you're gonna see that a little bit more clearly and it's kind of scary what can happen if you blow your nose with your mouth closed. So blow your nose with your mouth open, okay? Um, wash your hands so that you avoid um, the spread of your infection to other people. I know that sometimes we feel like, oh, well, I'm already sick. I don't need to do infection control. Well, think about it. If you're sick, you want to do infection control for other people, don't you? I think so. So wash your hands. Um, and then watch for any kind of drug interactions. Some people are allergic to the funniest things. Um, for example, I'm allergic to Benadryl. So a lot of times when I'm having an allergic reaction, people want to give me Benadryl. Don't give me Benadryl if I'm having an allergic reaction because you're going to end up seeing me have hives, get tachycardia, go into crazy cardiac issues and have hallucinations and everything also. So you want to make sure that you know what your patient is allergic to and just watch for any kind of drug interactions. All right. Um, do these questions on your own. It will help you just really look through things and everything. So um, I'm just going to leave this up here for a second so you can see it. And that's it. Okay. See you back in a minute.